potty. Don't let him go far. Brady. I think he go smells potty. him too. Go potty. Do you see anything off where the... No, see, they're going to be all the way over there. Well, that's where I heard them, yeah. We're not going to be able to see past that tree line. Buzz, Buzz, what are you doing? Did you not want to move so I could put the blanket under you? Why are you giving me those sad eyes? Why are you so sad? Well, I guess if you want, if you don't want the blanket on you, you can move. Good night, boys, buds. All right, what are you doing here, chef? I don't know what I'm doing yet. Pickles. You're making pickles. I'm making pickles. Nope. Making fried pickles. I want some vegan fried pickles. This one. Woohoo! All right. Well. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. All right, guys, these are actually turning out pretty dang good. We're making them in the air fryer, so they're not near as bad for you as deep frying them. But Matt's making the whole jar of pickles right now. I just made this bomb dipping sauce, so I use Hellman's vegan mayonnaise, sriracha with it, some fajita seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper dipped in here. Try it. How's the regular ranch taste too? Isn't that good? That's good? Yeah, we also have some ranch for dipping, but man. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Can your dinner get more brown? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got a big old salad bowl with some tofurkey slices. Oh yeah. It's a dance party in the RV this morning. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> They got intense real fast. <laughs> Is that your hand for me? No. <laughs> Lame. Lame. So if any of you guys are sweets fans like I am, these are amazing. This is a little company that I found through Instagram. They make this cookie dough and it's basically to be eaten raw. I think that you can bake it too, but it's just, it's cookie dough and the flavors that they have are insane. As far as like nutritional information, it's got a decent amount of protein. It's lower in carb, lower in fat. So versus eating like refrigerated cookie dough that's not the best for you. This has, it's slightly better, but the flavor is what is amazing about it. Got white chocolate Reese's, pumpkin spice donut, uh, Ori dough cookie, and then this one is gingerbread cookie. These are kind of hard to put down. I've probably eaten one of these in a matter of two days before. They're really, really addictive, but they're really good. So I can link the website in the description box, but definitely something to try for those of you that have a sweet tooth like I do.
So what's the goal here? What are we doing? So this is how much room we're working with as far as the couch. When you lay down. It's like, I mean, it's okay. I actually fit in the full length here. That's nice. I do not. But anyway, so when you lay down, you can see, like, you don't have a whole lot of room. So if you want to nap on this couch, like, it's not very comfortable. It's not very practical. You can't even get a dog up here to cuddle with. Brady gets, it's real uncomfortable for you. But anyway, so it's not a very good napping couch, so it's kind of pointless. Right. But we like the storage. Well, the storage isn't going anywhere. Uh, my goal is to see how this whole thing functions, rip it out, and then put just a piece of plywood down, which is actually what they have all around this. It's just mm -hmm. plywood with cushion on top of it. We'll find some mash matching cushions that we actually want to sit on. Mashing. Mashing. <laughs> and then something that can also be uh, easily replaced, like the top layer of it, uh, like which would probably just be a blanket or something, because dogs jump on this. <laughs> so, and then put just a little bit of cushion, like... And by cushion, I mean probably just loose pillows, like throw pillows, along the back side as your backrest. And so, this gives you a really big area to work with as far as laying down and all that stuff, so it's just comfort. It would be nice. So what are you doing right now? So we're not actually taking any of this out, but I'm thinking about getting rid of this whole thing. I can at least put this part into storage, so if we wanted to go back to it, we could. What did you just do? I broke it. <laughs> What did you do? Wow, that was simple. And now we can see all of our junk. Oh, I'm gonna hand back that area so hard. It's pretty amazing how much stuff you can fit under there. Empty. And we swept and vacuumed it. Now what do we do? What do we do? Yeah. I wouldn't mind actually really clean this thing. And then from there we just measure the space that we want to actually put like, bedding on, really. How much I can do here. Hey, yes, um, is there any way I could speak with a manager? Hi, yes, um, I just wanted to uh, let you know that we were just in there and we had one of the best experiences with one of your employees in the store. She's she's working there now. We, we literally just left. And I just wanted to let you know personally that she was amazing. She's absolutely wonderful. Wait, where'd you go? What's this? He's right here. He walked right in front of the freaking car. <laughs> where is he? What's this? There he goes again. And in front again. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he got in front again. <laughs> Stop calling him! <laughs> Stop calling him! <laughs> he just circled the trap! Hi! 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 Oh my gosh, she's Louise. Brady! No, no, no! No, drop it! Oh, no! no. <laughs> Get out of here. Do you need help? done but Matt put a rope on here so we can actually lift this up I mean, we're keeping this for now because it's not I think it's gonna be annoying to have to move no you don't have to move it I don't no to pick up the thing right go down as much whenever you sit but you can already see how much more leg room we have whenever we sit you can actually cross your legs up there figure out what to put here so we have to buy cushioning for this and pillows and fabric not too hard fabric no <sighs> You're making this way more complicated. Here you go. All right, so you just fix the flap. Dang! Put a hinge on it. Cool. That's the key. Mm -hmm. So 
this is just a temporary fix for a couch, but I mean, it's, it'll do for now. He wants to take out the this thing in completely, uh, this pillow thing. It's just not um, practical, so... It, no, it's not. You can't lay it down easily. This doesn't make sense here. Uh, but if you put pillows lining back here, all you have to do is just knock the pillows down. Mm -hmm. And then it supports the bed. And so it just makes it a little bit easier that way. So we want to get a some type of like large cushion for here so we don't have to have these ugly pillows. Yeah. But again, just temporary. have so much more room here now. This is actually somewhere that I could have like a my laptop and work from versus it being super uncomfortable. But you can like lay back now. Oh my gosh, yeah. Not bad for a... Uh, You'll actually have more room after these because these are like overstuffed pillows. Yeah, that's true. It's like a foot of pillow space right here. Not bad for one day. Yeah. I need to change the joint behind here. We can't actually lift it up right now. Like we can lift it up a couple of inches, and that's about all we get. Okay, so it's our temporary little first official renovation to the RV. Not bad. Yeah, okay. Still some work to do, but I mean, this is kind of what we're working with now. So if you guys see something funky going on here in future videos, no, you know why. Good job. Thanks. No. No. Bad job. You can Bad job. Up here. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video, this vlog. Um, if you guys have done any like DIY renovations on your RV, let us know in the comments below. Um, or if you have videos leave them in the comments yeah, below that. because this obviously is a very very basic first time job and we've got a few other plans that we're probably going to do that we're probably going to do in the future so and also with this one just one last little thing um, i'm working around the uh, mechanisms that are already there so that in the case that we do want to move back to the other couch we still can and we sure. of course have the cushion right here for it we also have the other cushion uh, that's going to be in storage for a little while. So. Yeah, yeah. so we'll keep these in case we do decide to go back um, or if we decide to sell the RV in the future. Yep. So, yeah, that's our... Yep. Well, that's that's it. Yep. 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 Have fun out there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't know why you get so weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got weird.